Hello and welcome again to week 28 of Thread Sketching in Action. I'm Deborah Wursu. The thread sketch this week features a bird, the Australian kookaburra. I must confess to finding birds challenging subjects, but this little chap didn't turn out too badly in the end. Not everything went according to plan at the start, as I used a chalk outline of the bird. On a background fabric of polyester shantung, the chalk simply dusted off the moment I went near it with the machine. However, enough of the design remained for me to manage. You'll also notice that I'm using an embroidery hoop. This is not my favourite technique, but in this instance, I had little choice as no stabiliser has been used. There is only a thin layer of wadding under the fabric and, being a small piece, it fitted in the hoop without any problems, holding the fabric taut so that I could avoid puckering. One option, instead of the hoop, would have been to use tear-away stabiliser. However, my supply of it had run out, so I was left with the hoop. And, given the slippery nature of the fabric, I think the hoop was a more sensible choice. Three colours of thread have been used to stitch this kookaburra. An ecru or off-white, dark charcoal and a pale turquoise blue. I've tried to add only enough detail to make the bird recognisable. It's very easy to overdo it and add too much detail. This was something I really had to watch myself for, as I'm more accustomed to thread painting birds rather than thread sketching. You could use a design like this in many ways. It would look great on cushions or bags, or it could be incorporated as part of the design in a collaged picture. The type of background you use is only limited by your imagination and different backgrounds would really transform the look of the same thread sketch. It could also look good with several birds in the piece, or over a printed background image of forest or bird life. Thanks for watching and I look forward to your company again next week. Please visit my website at deborahwursu.com for more tips, tutorials, videos and patterns.